On this Andy's Auto Sport Short, we're talking wideband O2 sensors and why you need one. So what is a wideband O2 sensor? Well, basically it reads the amount of oxygen in the exhaust to make sure you have the proper air fuel ratio. The popular brands that we carry are AEM and PLX devices. Basically, every engine shop out there and every tuner shop out there, when they build a custom chip for your car or tune your vehicle's ECU, if you have a, a standalone ECU in there, they use a wideband O2 sensor. This ensures that as you're building that map and as you're custom tuning that chip for your vehicle with your modifications, that the air fuel ratio stays in its absolute best power making range. So what am I looking for on my wideband O2? Well, Stoic is considered 14.7 to 1 air fuel ratio. That means you have 14.7 parts of air to one part of fuel. So what this does is this puts the engine its optimum uh, efficiency range for fuel economy and what uh, factories are looking for. If you're looking for horsepower, you're probably looking on a naturally aspirated engine between 12.5 to 13.2. If you have a boosted engine, that number changes significantly. You need a lot of fuel usually uh, to keep cylinder temperatures down a little bit. So you're probably looking in the 10.5 to 12.5 range. That's where you'll get some good horsepower and good safe power as well. There are many wideband O2 sensors out there to choose from. One of the ones I really like for the tuning side is this one from PLX Devices. Now, one of the great things about this is it has a fuel selector switch. So you can choose from CNG, LPG, you can go to uh, uh, ethanol, E85, diesel, or gasoline. So if you are tuning your vehicle for E85, you can switch your wideband O2 sensor right here to the E85 switch. And then if you're going to run it on gasoline, you switch it to gasoline. This right here, and you can do that on the fly. So the wideband device from PLX Devices is really a great option if you're a tuner. Okay, one of the things that is real important, even if you're building your own vehicle or if you are not taking your vehicle to a tuner, what you do is, uh, let's say you change injectors or you're running nitrous or something to that effect, a wideband O2 sensor is really going to help you make sure you get that tune-up correct, even if you are not taking it to a dyno. So pay attention to your wideband O2. There are lots of options out there and a lot of great choices. But if you're going to be changing injectors or fuel pressure, things like that, put a fuel pressure regulator on there, the wideband O2 sensor is going to tell you if you're in the ballpark once you get your car out on the road. So we've touched on just a couple of things today on why a wideband O2 sensor is important. We hope you've learned some things, and we'll see you on another episode of Andy's Auto Sport Shorts.